Hey guys, it's Katie, and this is my video discussion board two, where we're going to talk about um, data collection in the classroom. So the first part, the importance of data collection, um, Roybler and Hughes in their 2019 publication on page 132, they say, teachers can engage in data collection for purposes like preparing class materials, organizing information, com and completing calculations. Then the data can be used for things like classroom budgets, school clubs, field trips, grading, or even assessment purposes. So I think this really shows that data collection can serve teachers in many ways for their personal use or for educational use. They can collect data and use it to enhance their teaching. So for examples of how I collect students, uh, data from students and use that, I'm not a teacher, but here are some ways that I think that teachers can use and collect data effectively in their classrooms. Um, so first, I think the use of surveys in classrooms can be really helpful. I remember when I was in school, um, on the first day, our teacher would hand out um, surveys to fill in with stuff like our names, grades, things we liked, things we disliked, um, what our major was or what classes we liked, um, and our like, preferred nickname and stuff like that. So that way the data could be used for the teacher to get to know us. Um, next, I think that maybe even collecting quiz grades from students could be a sort of data collection. Um, if, for example, um, you gave a quiz and most of the students failed, it could be an indicator that maybe that you didn't teach the material as well or as effectively as you thought you could have. Um, moreover, if the deviation of scores between students could be used to see um, which students are doing well, which students aren't doing well, and who might need more help. And then um, the last question is, how have you taught your students to collect and organize data and what methods work for you? Again, I'm not a professional teacher, but I think that teaching students to obtain, analyze, and reflect on data is definitely an important skill. For example, like in chemistry class, students would make a hypothesis, do their experiment, and then record and analyze the data that comes out of their experiments. Um, even still, I think the most important part is for teachers to teach their students to analyze data critically. Just like in all areas of technology and the internet, you can't believe everything you read. I remember one specific example from my government class in high school. We looked at some graphs charting data from a phone poll um, about the presidential election. Um, and even though the visuals of this graph showed a bar graph and one candidate was way up here and the other candidate was way down here, on the visuals, when we evaluated the data, it was more like this. Um, so in that way, visuals really skewed the data. Um, in addition, I think it's really, really important to um, understand where the data comes from in the same way you check bias for all internet sources. So from that same example, we also realized that the data came from one of the political parties that the candidate was from and then they didn't like the other candidate. So it might be important to note that they made this graph so maybe some outlying data was skewed or eliminated from the set so thank you guys for watching the video i hope you have a great rest of your week